my full last summer's epidemic. Just a dozen years or so. It's locked. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. Don't need to this dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedience, slave. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings-on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. 
You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's fame. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. The daily routine. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Fear and disgust on every street corner. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Here again. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales.
No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Yeah. Well, with the fever. Clear again. Lives of bees, every last one of them. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm blight, sir. Mutant blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed.
Hey, Doc. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail? That's not my style. Too risky. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think I caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead, yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about my health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You have disgust on every street corner. Routine. Bread with no respect. With the fever. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. Well, thanks, anyway. Goodbye, Milton. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> 